Hello there, today I will present you another tutorial on AVR development. A few weeks ago I ordered a different programmer and here it is, it arrived just yesterday. Well, why did I order another programmer? This is an ISP program and worked fine as you were able to see in my last video. And that is an JTAG programmer. JTAG stands for Joint Test Action Group and it has a very handy feature which this one does not and the feature is debugging. It enables me to insert breakpoints for example into my script and then do some on-device debugging. This is definitely very handy and I will check that out and post an another video on it on YouTube. But today I will show you how I got it to work on macOS 10 Snow Leopard. Now a close up of the programmer. It's connected to my test board and it also gives me the option to power my test board via USB by bridging these two contacts with a jumper. Now I obviously have to insert it into my computer. It lights up and the power LED lights up on the uh, test board. As you can see it's pretty broad. It almost block the other USB port of my MacBook. Now how I got it to work on my machine. I checked in the terminal how it is called and I noticed that it didn't even appear in the device list. I entered this and it didn't appear in the list. Then I checked if the computer has even recognized the device. I did that with the system profiler. There in the USB section I noticed this item. This wasn't before uh, there before so it has to be the programmer. Then I, d uh, I googled the name of the company and there um, on this link there is a driver for this programmer. Actually I think it's the USB chip on the programmer. And only after that it appeared in the list in the terminal. And it's called TTY USB serial. Then I took my make file I exchanged the AVR dude port and the AVR dude program ID now is JTAG1. And yeah, I also changed the chip. As you were able to see, I now use a Mega32. The Mega8, I think, doesn't even support JTAG. So you should definitely use a um, Mega 16 or 32 for that. And now I'm able to flash it. There it works. Now the status LED starts blinking. Well actually I cheated a little bit because I pulled this jumper and it would have blinked before but you have to believe me, it really exchanged the program. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.